Greetings, good people of the internet. This is the Wrestle Review, and today I will be reviewing the 2021 Royal Rumble event. Alright, uh, first off, women's tag titles, uh, pretty much everything I was expecting it to be. Solid work, uh, shenanigans from Ric Flair, uh, nothing, nothing spectacular. Next, WWE Championship. Uh, it was, it was inoffensive. Um, standard Goldberg match formula. A uh, touching moment after the match. And Drew retained. Thank God. Um, SmackDown Women's title match between Sasha Banks and Carmella uh, was also not terrible. I mean, it wasn't good. But it was, again, inoffensive. Uh, Sasha Banks is probably the best seller the women's division has. But Carmella? Uh, uh, the women's rumble match was good when it took itself seriously. Um... But the Billy Kay stuff, and especially the R-Truth stuff, uh, was really not for me. Um, I think they made a great choice in choosing Bianca Belair to win. She is a megastar in the making. I thought the uh, final two match within a match between uh, Belair and Rhea Ripley was excellent without overstaying its welcome. Um... Let's see, Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship was pretty good. Went on a little too long for my taste, but but hey, you know. Uh, KO sold brilliantly, I think, in the latter half of this match. Um, the two most memorable spots to me were KO getting hit by the golf cart. And of course the swanton off of the off of the uh, what do you call it forklift. Um, the finish was okay, if a little disappointing. And finally, the men's rumble. It was good. It was good, just not great. Man, I really wanted to see Keith Lee. And he wasn't there! Uh, rumor has it they uh, had him replaced by Braun Strowman. I don't, I don't know if there's any truth to that. But if there is, they made the wrong choice. I also think Edge was not a good pick to win this match. I really, really believe it should have been Daniel Bryan. Um, but... Uh, I do understand why they would give it to Edge. They want to have more of those former fans come back from Mania when they move to Peacock. Um, but, anyway. I'm going to give the event as, as a whole a C+. Nothing really worth going too out of your way for, except maybe the last man standing match. But, that's just my opinion. That's my review. Please tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.